Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. Also, if you want to be notified when I drop new content, make sure you click that little bell notification icon. Uh, if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for being here. No matter what, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm glad that you decided to join me. So if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I'm rearranging uh, all of my, my office to do some hardware videos that are, that are coming up here in just the next couple days, and I'm pretty, pretty excited about them. But I wanted to answer a question that I've been getting a lot in, uh, you know, before those videos come out, and that the question is, should I use a password or a passphrase, and what's the difference? So traditionally, a password is going to be much less complex than a passphrase. Now, they're both intended to do the same thing, which is to protect your accounts and protect your information. But a password, and let's be honest about how they're used in the real world, that a password is going to be, a lot of times people just meet the minimum requirements, eight characters, uppercase, lowercase, and we try to use these clever passwords, and most of the times they're not clever, and they've already been you know, hacked. If you've ever been to Have I Been Pwned, you can see, or if you've ever gotten a sextortion email, you know that your passwords are out there. So a couple of the differences between a password and a passphrase, a passphrase is going to be much more complex and it's probably going to be much easier to remember. Now, most modern systems are going to allow us to have passwords, which I'm going to use password and passphrase kind of interchangeably. So uh, if, if you have problems with this and you need clarification, put, put questions down in the comments. But a passphrase, most, uh, most common or most modern systems are going to allow us to have passwords that are going to be between 100 and 130 characters. They're going to allow spaces, special characters, all that good stuff. Uh, they're, uh, so that's going to allow us to create a passphrase, which I tell people use a favorite line out of a movie, use a favorite line out of a song. The title is something that's, that's longer than eight characters. And use that. And you're going to see, we're going to pull up a, uh, a password, a couple of password sites, and we're going to test these. And you're going to see exactly the difference in the strength of what we think is a clever password and then a pass phrase. So let's go over to the computer real quick and we will take a look at that. All right, so I've got these three sites that we're going to use, the RoboForm password checker, the myonelogin.com password checker, and uh, I got my, my login uh, up there twice. Let's uh, do NordPass. And so I'll leave these links down in the description. But what we're going to do, here's what I typically see people use as a password. They use their pet's name. They use a street name. They use, you know, uh, names, things that we warn people against. That's why the social media games with asking, you know, where you grew up, what your street name was, what your dog's name was, what your mother's maiden name was. Those are all very dangerous games to play. But here we're going to use password one, right? It meets all the requirements, uppercase, lowercase. It's eight characters, and it's got a, a, a number and a special character. Then we're going to create a passphrase. So we're going to say Yankee Doodle went to town 76 exclamation point, right? All right, so first let's test the um, strength of what we think is a clever password. So we're going to go over here, we're going to paste this in to RoboForm, and RoboForm doesn't even move, it says evaluation weak, all right? Let's go over here to my one login, we'll paste that in. It meets all the requirements, it's 10 characters, it meets all the requirements, but we can break this password in 5.28 minutes. Oops, using this password is likely leaving your key in the lock. Your password is weak because it contains two dictionary words and a common password. And then over here at Nord, we'll use the strength uh, tester. And it says it's moderate. It says the password has been exposed six times, three hours to crack your password, but it meets all the requirements. So you can see that is a bad password. And just to show you, I am using that. Uh, we will expose that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our passphrase. And we're not even going to put the exclamation point on it yet. We're just going to use... Yankee Doodle went to town 76. All right, RoboForm says this is a strong password. We're going to come over here to my login and paste that in. It's very strong. It does not meet the symbols, but it's still going to take 618 trillion years uh, to break that, according to this. We'll come over here to Nord and we'll paste this in. 
it's strong, no leaks found, so it's not been uh, previously exposed. So I am gonna tell you, do not use this password because it is in a video. So do not use this because now people in this video have seen this password or this passphrase, and it says it's gonna take centuries. So let's one up this and we'll put the exclamation point at the end, still strong over here. We're gonna add that exclamation point. It just increased the time to break it to 200 trillion years now satiates all the requirements and we'll add this here and we're still going to get centuries but you can see um, this is easy to use i'm not going to have to write this down on a sticky note put it under my keyboard um, and i'll leave a, a like i said i'll leave these links in the description so you can see how using an easy to remember passphrase is much better than using what we think is a clever password and take that and combine it with two-factor authentication and your the odds of you being breached have just gone way, way, way down. More than likely, if you're breached, it is not gonna be your password or your passphrase that has caused the problem. It's gonna be a weakness somewhere else in some other piece of software, some other person, some something else. It, your passphrase is probably not gonna be the problem. And always use two-factor authentication, even with a strong passphrase. Last year, and I don't have a link to it, but if you do, if you Google it, last September-ish, Microsoft released a report that said 85% of all data breaches could have been prevented with two-factor authentication. So that's something that we should always be um, aware of. But uh, I'll leave all the information you know, down below in the description. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, they are down below. They do not change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over here to the channel to keep things rolling in. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is also down below. Once again, I want to thank you all for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.